Hey folks, Lionel here with Cowboy Boots, Hats, and Western Life Enthusiasts. Today I got a boot unboxing and long term review for you from none other than the Cobas. These are the Prescott Sand Sharks. Well, let's get into it. So just in case you guys are wondering how this is an unboxing and long term review, I got these in February in a size 12D which is my regular size and they felt a little bit big so I called the folks over at Tacovas and they told me I could walk with them for a little bit longer because I was so unsure. So uh, unfortunately they didn't have the sizes 11 and a half D until about last week and that's when I ordered these which are brand new pairs of boots. So they were kind enough to actually uh, take the other ones back just to make sure I was comfortable, which is very good from uh, Tacova's customer service. So let's see these uh, boots. So first of all, you got the Tacova's box right here, as you guys know. Uh, so really nice box, very simple. Kind of just says everything about them right here. So they always give you guys a really cool koozie. So this one is a new one that I've never seen before. Have a sunny day, y'all. Tacovas, pretty cool koozie. You get this envelope, which uh, usually gives you guys the uh, return label as well, but this is your free return and exchange uh, card. And this will show you uh, how the boots are supposed to fit and how you're supposed to take care of the boots. So that's what comes in the card. I guess if you guys need to return them or exchange them for any reason, you just go ahead and call the Kovas or send them an email and they'll send you a return label at that point. Uh, so you just uh, basically uh, take this off. They come wrapped up in a plastic. There we go. There we go. So they do come with some really nice uh, boot shapers. The Kovas have some of the nicest boot shapers, or the shaft shapers, I must say. And um, they're really nice, and these are very important to keep for reasons that I'll tell you in a moment. Uh, so definitely keep those. Um, they do have a little piece of paper inside. I took them off already. Um, so here they are. Now. They smell really nice and the first time I had them on I actually went to the store with them and uh, the whole truck smelled like uh, smelled like leather I wish it could have stayed that way but actually they smelled like leather for a long time um, so that is a really nice thing about them that means they they're actually using really nice and quality leather uh, for these shark skins so let's start with the with the sole of the boots um, so these are a round toe, uh, wide round. Uh, the sole is a butyl treated uh, uh, sole, which basically butyl treated means that it's still gonna be a leather sole, so it's not gonna get away from that uh, leather style, but it's going to have some of the properties of, uh, of the rubber sole because it's got, um, it's basically, uh, butyl is a rubber that they make inner tubes out of and all that, so it expands really good. So they kind of inject it in there and um, it gives it some properties so it, it it's it's good against water it also um will uh last a little bit longer than your traditional uh sole the only takeaway from that is that basically it will be a little bit heavier i think uh that and it's also a little bit harder than your traditional leather or rubber because um, i guess i don't know the, the butyl i guess makes it hard but uh, onto uh, the lemon wood pegs, it's got two rows of lemon wood pegs, and it's got one single brass nail right here. On the heel cap, you got a you got a rubber heel cap with the Tacovas T on there, and you got like a natural finish uh, on the welt, and it's a um, stack leather heel. It's 
really nice looking uh, there is a little bit of an imperfection right here you got some glue over here but um I mean that's gonna happen with some handmade stuff sometimes they they, they leave these little things especially at that price point uh, you could probably take it off really easily so you got a spur shelf right here and this is a double stitch Goodyear welt on a wide round toe the little wide stitching and now onto the vamp you have um the toe bug right here and this beautiful shark skin now the shark skin is really nice on here it's very supple but it's also very durable you could just feel how hard it is and, and durable but it's it's nice and supple at the same time so it will conform really good to your foot um this is part of Takova's ranch wear uh, as you guys could see so it's going to have some of those ranch wear features like um, this burr shelf and, and, and a lot of things. Tacova say this is a great boot for riding. Um, you know, it is very heavy. Uh, I will tell you guys this. And this burr shelf is not very strong. Uh, on my other boot, I've actually had them dinged up from the beginning. They came kind of dinged up. So uh, it's not a very sturdy uh, spur shelf so if, if that's one of your things that you want everything to be perfect well it's not going to be now i've had uh other boots that i've actually put on spurs that have spur shelves and they're still looking better than these and i've never had spur shelves on mine um so i don't know if it's the greatest quality spur shelves but they will get dinged up now the counter is nice it's not the hardest counter that i've ever felt but it is it is still pretty hard so it should give you some good support i've never had a complaint about the support from the counter now um moving on to uh this shaft uh this is a very soft shaft it's uh it's a bovine shaft and uh it's 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 basically you could fold it um it's got some nice cording on there as you guys could see and uh it's got pool holes not pool straps with some brown stitching around the pool holes uh the seam is very nice and heat hidden uh you can barely see it i mean it's just a stitch going down and that feels very comfortable the whole shaft feels very comfortable uh on here um just you know it's it's kind of got this uh bovine or cow lining and it it just feels really nice it, it actually does feel um uh, good now on the insole you got this removable insole that is a rubber uh oh, sorry a rubber insole uh it's got a little bit of dampening and also it's leather lined so um but this is the interesting part on the inside here this uh it's 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 traditionally made where about halfway through the boot it's got the uh, the leather uh, insole, thin leather uh, thin leather insole, and uh, that's yeah that's very traditionally made. So that's how I like my boots to be worn, uh, rather than with an insole. All right, so this is how I'm doing this. I removed the modern insole from the left boot, and I uh, kept the modern insole on the right boot. So. On the left side is traditional, and on the right side it's modern. Felt the pop. It is roomy on this one with the left on the traditional. And a little harder to get on with that insole and it is extremely tight all right so here's a side profile here is the front 
other side. And the back. Now, I will tell you guys this. This feels extremely tight. But nothing that won't break in eventually. But it also does feel like my foot could be a little bit more back. And this one feels very loose. Like, um, like it did on the 12D when I had the insole. They do look good from the side profile though. All right, let's get back on top. So here's my conclusion on these Tacovas Prescott Sand Shark boots, starting with the fit. So my friend Joe Bradburn from the Cowboy Cartel channel actually has these exact same boots, but in the Bison. Now, he actually confirmed to me the same thing that the fit was inaccurate and a little bit awkward and they weren't very comfortable said that they were a little bit big on him um so uh he will actually be making a review on these boots and uh, as soon as he releases that review i will be dropping a link in the description below so be sure to check that out uh also uh jeremiah craig made a video on these boots uh kind of confirming the same thing so as far as the fit it is very awkward to me uh like i said i did have on this uh 11 and a half uh on one side i had uh, no insole and on the uh, right side i did have an insole on the left side when i didn't have an insole it felt like my 12 where they were just too much space up and down and on the right one it just felt a little bit too tight because the length was not right so it filled it back in where actually uh, they were uh, nice and tight, but uh, and they didn't have that gap up and down, but they weren't long enough. So at the end of the day, it's kind of uh, an awkward fit because on the 12, when I actually uh, was wearing them, my foot was sliding up forward and crushing my toes. So that uh, fit is not the best for me. Now, I did read on uh, some other people's uh, reviews that they felt great and they were the best fitting boot and they were super comfortable with it and that's great uh but i also did read a lot of people saying the same thing as i did uh that you know just they were they felt a little bit big and the sizing was very awkward now my next uh thing on this boot is the spur shelf uh these spur shelves are not very strong uh, i don't see them being working spur shelves like i said i have my nakonas that I actually did put spurs on them and uh, they're still in great condition. Uh, these are not as good of a condition as my Nakonas and these have never received a spur on them. And the other ones that I've actually had, they were even worse. Uh, the 12Ds, uh, they, 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 they were in even worse shape after a little bit of time. So uh, I think that they should have reinforced that spur shelf if they were gonna put one or just not put one at all. Um, another thing this is my personal taste uh i think on this wide round toe they should have put a single stitch weld kind of like anderson bean did i think it would have refined the boot a little bit and made it look a little bit better this is just very long and i think they could have done with a single stitch weld um but again that is very personal now um as far as the butyl treated sole i think that is a great idea uh but if that is what is making this boot a little heavier. Uh, I don't like that so much. They say that this is the ranch wear boot and it's supposed to be a little bit um, a little bit heavier. Uh, so you could ride. I don't, I've never needed a, uh, a heavier boot to ride. I, I could just stand up on my, on my uh, stirrups just fine. I, I've never needed a heavier boot to ride. So um, that's one thing. Also, the counter could have been a little bit a little bit harder but it's not so bad um, I will give them this now uh, as far as the shaft uh, because this is the wrench where uh, you're actually supposed to be working with these and you might be able to actually you know stick your jeans inside of the of the shaft if you're mucking a stall or something like that 
uh, you don't want to get your your jeans all dirtied up so you put you put your your uh, jeans inside of the shaft and this has a nice wide opening but being that it's so soft you could actually clean those boots up and maybe wear a nice fitted jean without uh, the shaft imprinting on the jean when it's inside because it will literally kind of crush up and 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 fit nicely inside of a maybe more fitted jean but uh, I think that in time, the soft shaft will actually uh, drag down and, you know, kind of uh, not, not be as, as uh, good. That's why you need those uh, shaft shapers. Uh, as far as the shark skin, it is very nice and supple, uh, yet very strong and durable. So I do like that. And also, if you see on the shark skin, you might see like a little wide gaze on there, like a like somebody dropped baby powder on them a little bit. Uh, rest assured that once you actually condition them, they will change color and they will look a little bit better. Uh, they won't have that white uh, glare on them anymore. As a matter of fact, I will be putting a picture right here of how the boots look. So these Tacovas press costs are coming in at $295 in this configuration and I think that is a wonderful price to pay for shark skin boots of this quality. If they were a single stitch welt and they fit a little bit better, I would have definitely kept them. But being that those two factors are in play, I simply cannot. But if you guys love how these boots look, I would strongly urge you to uh, order a pair in your size, see how they fit, and if they don't fit good, just to downsize and uh, you know see, see if that will work out for you. Because if they do, you guys will have a wonderful pair of boots for an amazing price. Now, I heard that Tacova's uh, regular boots, uh, the ones that are not ranch wear or the ones that are not the Prescott's, uh, fit more accurately. And I do want to give those a try. And I'm hoping that Tacova's actually make these Sand Sharks in another one of their boots if, they, uh, if their other boots do fit good, because I think those will be a major success. Uh, so that is all I have for you guys today. If you guys like the video, uh, please hit like and subscribe. And if you guys do actually already own uh, the Prescott, please write in the uh, comment section below which ones you own. If you guys own the Sharks, the Bison, uh, the Bovine, and how they fit for you if you like them. Or if you have actually felt the same thing that I felt when you guys try them on and they just simply do don't work for you. I want to know about all that. Uh, so that is all I have for you guys today. Uh, thank you very much for uh, your support and have a good one. Oh,